So now we're going to begin talking about the real number system. We've been doing this on the interactive word wall in the morning, but now we're going to take our notes. You're going to get a sheet that looks like this. Um, I don't know what color it's going to be. It may be white. I would suggest taking the notes before we glue. So let's title page 10, the real number system. Okay. So rational numbers can be written as ratios, and we know ratios as fractions. Okay. Integers are positive and negative. Okay. Every whole number is an integer, but not every integer is a whole number. They are also rational, real numbers. Okay. Okay, so here we have a chart with all of our rational numbers. In integers and in whole numbers in natural numbers okay irrational numbers are those numbers that they don't meet certain conditions okay so some examples of rational numbers are proper and improper fractions Okay. Okay, so A over B where B does not equal zero. And repeating decimals. So decimals that repeat. Repeating decimals. Okay, our examples of rational numbers. Okay. And then decimals that stop. So this is a rational number because it stops. Okay. Integers are any number, positive or negative. Okay, so I'm just going to do a number line here. Okay, positive or negative, but remember we, these are subsets. So even though these are an example, we like to think of what is the better choice. Okay, so over here, I'm going to put some better choices for integers. Okay. And negative 4 over 2 because that would be a negative 2. Okay. Whole numbers. 3, 4, 100. But again, down here, 0 is really the only whole number that we're concerned about because our natural numbers begin at 1. Okay. So one, five, seven, one thousand. Okay. Our irrational numbers are square roots that cannot be broken down any further and decimals that repeat. Okay. Or excuse me, decimals that do not repeat, like pi. Okay, it doesn't stop. It's not a repeating, it's not a repeating decimal like this one. Okay. So those are just a few, and I would say that a natural number could even be the square root of 4 because that equals 2.
Okay. Natural numbers are rational numbers. They are also whole numbers. Integers. And counting numbers. Ah, natural numbers are rational numbers. They are also whole numbers, integers, and counting numbers. Irrational numbers do not repeat or terminate. So that one that stopped in the hundredth place, that's a, that's a terminating decimal. If you can't write it as a ratio or a fraction, then it is irrational, okay? So what I'm gonna have you do now is to cut this out and then you're going to glue it like this in your journal, okay? So on page 10, it's going to look like this. 